I consider it a rare privilege and honor to welcome Sri Pranav Mukherjee, respected Rashtrapati Mahoday, who is amidst us to inaugurate the Golden Jubilee celebrations of the CBI and to deliver the 14th annual DP Kohli Memorial Lecture, organized to pay homage to our founder director, late Sri Dharamnath Prasad Kohli. I, on behalf of the entire CBI family, extend a very warm welcome to you, sir. We are indeed fortunate to have Sri Purna Mukherjee, President of India, to deliver the 14th annual DP Kohli Memorial Lecture on good governance, empowering institutions, society and public. Rashtrapati Mahadev is an inspiring leader and needs no introduction. But it is only in the fitness of things that I present before you a brief profile of Sri Pranam Mukherjee, which indeed is a source of inspiration for all of us. A man of humble origin, Sri Mukherjee was born in the small village of Miraki in Birbhum district of West Bengal, as son of freedom fighter Sri Kamra Kinshat Mukherjee and Sri Mati Raj Lakshmi on December 11, 1945. Sri Mukherjee acquired a master's degree in history and political science, as well as a degree in law from the University of Calcutta. He was elected to the upper house of the parliament, Sabha, five times from 1969, and twice to the lower house of parliament, Lok Sabha, from 2004. Sri Mukherjee is a man of unparalleled experience in governance, with rare distinction of having served as foreign defense, commerce, and finance minister of the country. It is both our challenge and our obligation to build on this reputation and rededicate ourselves to the task of fight against crime and corruption. The Golden Jubilee is also an occasion for introspection. While CBI today has the foundation of a world class enforcement agency, we need to take note of dynamic changes in the environment. There are growing grassroots voices in the country against corruption. The public expects us to act with greater effectiveness and speed. The advances in information technology are increasingly encompassing most areas of work. New age cyber and economic crimes need new skills and constant upgradation of existing knowledge. <laughs> Anti-corruption is moving to the mainstream of international economic relations. The increasing engagement of the Indian economy with ASEAN, EU and SARS member countries is expected to have major implications on the nature of our work. Mutual legal assistance requests, letter liberty, corruption by agencies, extradition and other areas of multi-jurisdictional investigation are set to expand in volume and complexity. In short, CBI has to prepare to work across the globe. This can only be done by putting in place the requisite human and systems capacity back a, a clear vision for the future. We will use the voltage of the year to thoroughly assess our existing affairs and frame a plan on building the CBI for the future that is at par with the finest law enforcement institution of the world. For this, we will need the support of the government, which I am sure is the point. I wish to briefly share with you our proposed roadmap for the Golden Jubilee celebrations spread over the year 2013-14. The Golden Jubilee celebrations will be undertaken under the patronage of our esteemed Minister of the State for Personal TG and Pension through a series of programs. It is time to reach out to citizens at large by focusing the history and work of CBI. For the first time, CBI would hold an international anti-corruption conference, inviting experts from leading the international law enforcement bodies, as also representatives from national institutions like Planning Commission, Enforcement Directorate, FIU, SEBI, etc. In order to constantly upgrade our standards and process of investigation, Technology and policy, we wish to start a mechanism to promote research in various areas of our work by collaborating with eminent institutions like National Law Universities, IITs, and IIS. The CBI Academy would also undertake MOUs with leading world class training bodies to update the knowledge and skill of our personnel. We will share with you more details in weeks and months ahead. We are all eager to listen to respected Rashtrapati Ji for his guidance and direction. Once again, I warmly welcome the distinguished guests to the inauguration of the Golden Jubilee celebrations and to the 14th annual DP Kohli Memorial Lecture. Thank you, Jai.
have the investiture ceremony of the officers awarded the President's Police Medal for Distinguished Service on the occasion of Independence Day 2012. I request the President of India, Sri Prada Mukherjee, to kindly present the awards to the medal winner. I also request MYSPP Sri Narayan Sami and the Director CBI to accompany me. Sri Keshav Kumar, Joint Director, Anti-Corruption Branch, Mumbai Zoo, is an IPS officer of 1986 batch, Gujarat Kata, Sri Keshav Kumar. Carter, 
who led the CBI from 1st January 63 to May 1968 and prior to that, SPE from 1955 to 1963. On his behalf, I request the Tej Prakash Kohli, his son, to receive the honours.
Vijay Karan, an officer of 1958 batch of UT cadre, was directed CBI from 14 December 1990 to 1st of June 1992. Shri Raja Vijay Shri Vijay Ramana Rao, a 1959 batch officer from AP Kader, headed the organization from 31st July 1993 to 31st July 1996. Shri K. Vijay Ramana Rao. Shri Joginder Singh, an officer of 1961 batch, allotted Karnataka Kader, was director CBI from 31st July 1996 to 30th June 1996. Shri Diyar Kartikeyan, a 1964 batch officer.